Welcome to My Orgasmic Life Podcast, a show that where we talk about sex, love, relationships, and kink. And of course, my favorite part, I share with you my very graphic, very juicy, and always entertaining orgasmic life. I'm Guy Morissette, your hostess, and your holistic sexual wellness specialist, your trauma healer, your BDSM expert, and of course, your pro dominatrix. Mm. <laughs> the show was inspired to inspire you to support your orgasmic living. Remember, always check the content warning before you listen and make sure you're listening where no one else can hear it because you never, ever know what I'm going to say because I always come with an explicit graphic content warning. <laughs> now, strap in and enjoy the show. Okay. So we're back, my wonderful, amazing audience. Um, I want to give a shout out to all of the Belgians that happen to love, <laughs> love this show. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Uh, and of course, you know, the Americans and the Canadians, because, you know, we are in Canada, but I always, I, I love that uh, I'm very popular in Belgium. We're very popular in Belgium. It's awesome. Love it. <laughs> I love, I love it. it. So today's episode of My Orgasmic Life, uh, Confessions of a Pro Dominatrix, uh, we are going to talk about rope. Woo! My favorite thing. You know this. Yes. Now, everybody who is listening and not watching, it's very important to remember that we need to communicate and describe what we're wearing, what we're doing, what we're holding, because the people who are listening can't see, right? right. So both Mistress Cherry and I are holding rope in our hands. We're all Mistress Cherry as the rope slut that she is. <laughs> I like to say expert, but okay. <laughs> she's a right. She's also the reason she is a rope expert because she's a rope slut. <laughs> My first cake, seven right. years old, not lying. Um, so, anyways, so she is wearing a pinkish red jumper, uh, sporting uh, some rope around her neck. Uh, and she's also now tied her wrists with some more rope. <laughs> so she, <laughs> i.e. the name Rope Sluts. <laughs> I, Mr. Sherry, and she's tying some more rope on her other wrist um, while she's uh, tying herself up. Um, and she may be distracted. We'll see how she does. <laughs> oh, I, oh, I can multitask. <laughs> All right. Um, so I am wearing a very 70s spotted uh, halter top while uh, holding some nice nylon uh, white grayish rope. And it's, you know, I'm just, I have my hands all in it and of course mistress cherry's cat because she has rope out is like all like yeah and i'm talking about her actual cat not her pussy not my <laughs> pussy or a pet or a pet cat for... or a, a human pet cat, pet cat. an actual right. an right. actual that's cat. right okay an actual cat so let's talk about rope tell mm. me about rope and she's all tied herself <laughs> So rope. So rope is, we talked on another episode about my sexual origin story, but my origin story um, is where- Wait, wait, that's where we're going to, no, yes. We, oh, you don't want to start there? Oh, because your origin story is good for our extended version. So oh, if you want, if you want, if you want, your, or, you want the origin story of the first rope experience, that will be in our extended version. Okay, all right. If you're just watching, you might want to pop on and watch because Mistress Cherry is sporting more cleavage, I see, than usual. Yes, that's true. Um, <laughs> okay, all right. So origin story for the extended version for Patreon. So you want to right. going to want to be a patreon okay 
Okay, so how about we talk about how you use rope in your world? Like, okay, uh, all right. How, like rope shows up for you in your right. uh, dungeon and with your client. Right. Yeah, and I do, you know, we can get into that. I do, um, I love your story with rope. Uh, I do a lot of teaching with rope. I love rope, big part of my a big part of my scene. So uh, Empress is describing to you how I'm tying myself up. I do do self bondage as well for self play. I tie myself to my suspension swing. That Empress loves my swing. And, and so rope. So if you were to have a session with me, of course, you have consented that you love rope, that you do not have any claustrophobic issues or issues with bondage or, or tightness. When you're doing what I'm doing rope, I am tying my wrists and such when I am talking to you, but I use, uh, and that'll be another uh, story when we get more into bondage, but we're focusing on rope today, is I do cuffs and wrist cuffs and ankle cuffs and that. So with rope, never around the neck, I want to throw that in, is when I, with rope, when you're doing anything with me, I'm going to flog you on the cross, strap on, uh, peg you on the swing, cock and ball torture. You are always tied down safely. It just gets me into that dom space. It gets my clients into that sub space. I do inescapable rope bondage. I have people that come and see me and try to escape. I am from all over the country and I'm proud to say no one has ever gone out of my rope. So my specialty <laughs> is inescapable rope bondage. Uh, a lot of my why for my clients is surrendering, right? And mine is total power exchange. And it just goes with the whole scene. I have been with new clients, of course, after the, the chat and everything and say, <laughs> they're on my third piece of equipment. I got the rope out. I have tons of rope, thousands and thousands of feet of rope. And they're like, mistress, may I speak? Yes, Sonny, you may speak. Wow, you really like rope. <laughs> I told you, but you're not listening. I told you. I guess, and it's very natural for me. I'm a self-taught um, rope uh, expert. And what makes me an expert is thousands and thousands and thousands of hours of rope. I teach rope at workshops. I teach rope at clubs. I teach rope to anyone that wants to listen. <laughs> Yes. So I have a poem I did on rope, which I can share another time, but I just love the rope in my hand is part of the total power exchange. It gets me in the mindset, the mindset. I just, I love everything about it and I could talk about it all day. <laughs> okay. So what questions do you have for me about rope? <laughs> it's my jam. So I, I want to tell a story. Oh, uh, yay. Story time, story time. So. Two really wonderful stories pop into my head about you and rope mm. and my interaction with you and rope. <laughs> so the first one is how you helped me embrace and find the love of rope um, at your one of your wonderful workshops. And um, I fell in love with rope. Um, in that moment and you being so excited and so exhilarated and so turned on by the rope it was like watching you and watching your love of rope and even right now as you've like wrapped yourself up in right. rope and you're tying yourself up with rope it's <laughs> like it's like you have this huge like hard on for rope like you're in love with it like hardcore love uh -huh. it. Yeah. So the second funny story I want to share is that <coughs> because Mistress Cherry loves rope so very much, we decide that, ah, we need to teach. She loves to teach rope. I'm like, great, come join, be one of the instructors on the BDSM, on our BDSM membership program, and we will teach rope. And so we filmed a whole bunch of rope. Uh, mm -hmm. episodes um, and Rope 101 is already out on the BDSM membership and August Rope 201 is coming out and because because and wait there's more and because <laughs> she loves Rope so much we basically ended up filming a whole course called 
rope extravaganza that will be that you can purchase all the things see, to learn all the things about safety how to tie rope how to escape like how to get out of rope that when you're in danger all the things all the safety, all the sexiness, all, everything that you ever wanted to know about rope bondage is in rope extravaganza. Rope extravaganza. Which oh, you I love have, that name. I know. It's a great name. Great name. You came up with it. It's fantastic. My workshop. Just and just not. Uh, yes, and part of part of rope extravaganza is there's a whole segment on just knots. <laughs> so now, one of the beautiful feedbacks that I got in our BDSM membership um, episode on Rope 101 was from our latest Dom that we both helped train, uh, Madam K. And she was watching it, and this is before she'd never touched rope. So this is, she's never touched rope. She's never tied anybody with rope. She's done nothing with rope. And she's watching it. And the whole time, you know, Mistress Cherry, she's fondling the rope, and she's taught, you know, fondling the rope and rubbing the rope and, you know, basically making out with the rope. And Madame K, like well, she's doing right now, um, and Madame K is like, while she's watching the episode, she's like, oh, for God's sakes, get a room with your rope. <laughs> So fast forward, Madame K comes for, um, you know, her training from BC, and I teach her. I'm teaching her uh, on my, one of my subbies, the wonderful tools and the wonderful things that I learned from Mistress Cherry about rope. So I'm teaching Madame K, and Madame K falls in love with rope like orgasmic I'm watching it unfold she's like rubbing the rope the same fondling the rope the same way as Mistress Cherry does and you know she's tying up my client and you know it's like she'd done this her whole life and she's making this beautiful artwork <laughs> beautiful artwork um, with the rope and it was phenomenal and it was in that moment for me. And so then I said to her, I said, so do you understand now? I turned to her. <laughs> Why Mistress Terry needs to get a room with her rope. She's like, oh my God, I totally got it. I totally got it. And it was one of the most beautiful, the, the, this, this segment around this, it was like so beautiful to watch all of that unfold for her. And it made me realize that I believe there's some people that love rope in this very deep, it's almost like the deep soul connection and sex. It's not just a sexual connection. It's like the artistic expression with rope. And I know Mistress Cherry, you have that. And I saw Madame K have that. I like rope. It's fun. It's playful. I can do things. But I don't, my, my whole being doesn't activate with the rope as it does when I see you holding rope or when I saw Madame K kind of go into this beautiful experience with rope. So I just wanted to share that rope is either like, I think it's like you are in love with it. Like you could just be alone in a room and be happy rubbing it all over yourself and getting freaky with your rope. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your thoughts on that as far as like from a client perspective too like from like anything that I just said I'm done talking. Oh, it was just, turn. oh no no it was just beautiful and when you said that even you talking about rope now is and I met Madame K and we're all very different but we had we had um sorry my cat's obsessed with my rope and but we have that similar energy we're both very um active so what I love about rope is it's I'm very very active with it. Like it, it really just creates almost um, a beautiful dance, right? It just, it's just that synchronicity with 
um, with my clients with it. And then the fact that even you talking about the rope and how much I love rope and how much Madame Kay loved rope and how that resonated. And you sent me some pictures. She did a phenomenal job for her first mm -hmm. time. There's no way that was my first, that was what my first rope looked like, right? At all. But it just is very tactile for me. And, but when you told that story, it just gave me, still gives me goosebumps through my body. I, you know, I never get tired of doing rope. I get excited to do rope. Uh, for me, rope creates, it's, it's also a purpose. Like if I'm putting someone in my swing, I tie them down for safety purposes too, right? Because I, I told you I didn't tie someone in my swing and I came forward and broke my nose. So it's also safety to keep people down. I use it as a handle if I'm doing pegging. I use it as, you know, the points if I'm flogging somewhere, right? So it's very multi-purpose purpose and facet for me, but it is, goes back to that synchronicity and the serendipity I have with it. Yeah, I guess it just, it just comes from, I'll tell it more on the extended version, but it's just that love affair I have with a rope. I've done just rope sessions, mm -hmm. right? And then I, you know, so yeah, yeah. So, and I do it and yeah, I become better with it. Uh, definitely, you know, with the safety shoes and all that, we'll get, you know, in, into our course, but, and I love teaching and I love teaching rope, but you're not the only one that fell in love with rope. I went to an event a week or two later and I saw someone else that was at that rope event going, look at me, Mr. Sherry, and tying up her rope. And, you know, it's lovely to see, right? I'm a teacher at heart. That yep. is my, that yep. is who I am a teacher. That's, I taught, I taught <laughs> kindergarten. But yeah, I taught, I'm a teacher. So I just love that, right? I'm just, I love teaching and people falling in love with it. And I've had clients that have never been tied up in the rope and have fallen in love with it. I go to events with lots of other doms, primarily male doms. I'm in a dungeon, you know, three crosses set out. I'm the only one using rope quite often for whatever reason. It's not a bragging standpoint. I find it fascinating, right? Like, oh, you're doing rope? I have to do this whole, you know, I have to go talk to the DM. I'm doing rope. I have my safety shears and I'm tied down and it's a whole safety thing. But yeah, I, I love what you said and thank you. And even when we... Um, when we started this podcast with you, even seeing you with your hands playing with your rope, you're so comfortable with it, mm -hmm. right? You're so comfortable, with it, right? And, it, you know, and it's funny because you talk about using chains, but since I've met you, I use more chains now too. Because <laughs> <laughs> I have so many chains. But it's funny when I use change now, after having all my experience and my ongoing love affair with rope, I'm better with the chains. I can use the chains as I use rope. It's just chains. Because as you, I have tons and tons of chains. Yeah. Sha and I call it shackling, right? I shackle. So, anyways. And I love the, like, like my relationship um, was always like, ah. So you talked about being active and I'm like, ah, that's a lot of work. Like for my, for, for me, for a long time, rope seemed like a lot of extra work where I could just clip and unclip people, which is part of why I migrated to chains, but it's not the only reason I migrated to chains. So I migrated to chains because like your sensory making out with your rope as soon as I hear chain see chain or feel chain I've been focusing I've been paying attention more lately about that that is the same arousal response mm -hmm. that I see that I see both in you and I saw in Madame K mm -hmm. around rope and I was like oh that's what that's about right it's the sensory component mm -hmm. to it right and but my evolution it's very fascinating because I have, I always had lots of rope. I never used it. And now I'm using my rope all the time. I, I need to go buy more rope and I got to wash the rope because I got too much. It's like to, to be using it too much. So I definitely need to go talking about rope. If there's any rope vendors who make some beautiful rope that would love to have people buy your rope please reach out to us mm -hmm. so that because uh, we need a good rope vendor that can supply both us 
uh, our other DOMs and clients with some mm-hmm. rope. Right. So, um, so yeah, so I, cause I need to go get a whole bunch of new rope because now yeah. you, 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 you know, you basically have me like tying people up now because of our mm-hmm. little adventure of your workshop. But one thing I do want to say is that rope isn't for everyone. Mm-hmm. And I think that's an important thing. Mm-hmm. Like I have this one particular client, you know, I was all excited. We went, I went to your, your rope extravaganza workshop and, um, and I was all excited and I was like, okay, I'm like, I, you know, learned this beautiful chest harness and I had, you know, done it up on my slut puppy and she looked hot and I was like, Ooh, this is hot. Like, so I have this one client and his name is idiot anal slut. So if you're listening, idiot anal slut, I'm throwing you under the bus. (laughs) (laughs) There you go. So I do this beautiful rope chest harness and I, I do, I drop into like, and it, it's, it's the sensuality and the seduction and there's more touching than I normally touch my clients because there's a lot of touching that mm-hmm. happens when you're doing the rope, right? You're, you know, making sure it's all straight, all things, right? And I'm like, and I make this beautiful chest harness. And I'm like grabbing them and doing the things. And, and then we do a little bit of spanking, a little bit of flogging. And then, you know, our session's over. And then now I have, to, now I'm going to sensually take off the rope and I'm rubbing my body up against them and doing all the sex things and doing all the sexy dance with the rope. And I said, so how'd you like the rope? Because he really likes like ex- bondage. So I thought he would like totally love the rope. And he says to me, um, it was boring. And he's like, it just felt like I was wearing a backpack. (laughs) You're right. It's not for everybody. And you know what? That's okay. Most of my clients do rope. I lead with it, right? I lead with it in my, in my sites. You know, my first specialty is is bondage. It's inescapable bondage. But no, it's not for everybody. The ones that haven't been for me have had claustrophobic issues or I don't do it as tight and you know what that's okay with your subby that's okay he likes the chains or whatever he likes yeah right you like just, what you like it's interesting it's just fascinating like it's just a fascinating and you were so excited I was so excited I was like so so excited about look what I learned and I was like totally seductive and all things all the things like I'm usually really mean and I slap him around and I'm like like this is the most sensual and nice I've ever been to him and he's like yeah he's like it took too long I'm like what do you mean it took too long that was the session the session was the adventure of the rope was like learning about the rope being in the rope the sensual touch the tying Mm -hmm. all this stuff it's like yeah but then by the time you're done and then we only had a couple minutes and then you had to take it out so it's like, it's like totally ruined, <laughs> it took up too much time. And I'm like, but that was the point. The point was the rope. That was the point of the session. And, and you are right. It, it can, it can, it can take time depending, you know, you're going to, everyone's going to watch our rope extravaganza uh, course, but is as you get faster, as people get faster, but they can be central putting on, it can be for the inescapable bondage, right? And that's why a lot of people that do do rope with me, yes, it definitely is an extended session. It definitely is a two to six hour session. It really, it really is. And one thing I want to just throw in is I do, I always have incorporate, oh, this feels awesome, everyone, just saying. <laughs> I do have to throw in, I quite often for safety on wrist, if I'm tying them over a bench for wrists and ankles, because I have the cuffs on, I do incorporate chains, right? Chains in the clips, right? Yep. So it's just for that. So I love the sound of chains as well. So I do a, a hybrid bonding session of chains and rope, or I do mummification with rope over top, which mummification is another sense step, which is another topic. But yeah, it just, that's interesting. But yeah, I love it. Most, yes. Yeah, so I just needed to throw idiot anal sludge under the bus. <laughs> and that's uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, but 
I, I now, I would say I now incorporate rope in with my chains all the time. Good. Awesome. Uh, like it, it's all, uh, it's now a part of, and a lot of my play comes with the, the those pieces to it. And, um, and yeah, again, it's like if a client, and it's just fascinating because I have a lot of newbie clients, right? So a lot mm -hmm. of my clients have no kink experience. They have, they, they're like, it's like, okay, I'm ready to explore. I've done all my stuff, my sexuality stuff, blah, blah, blah. I'm now ready to explore kink. And so a lot of times when people are filling out their hard limits list, they have no idea. So a lot of it is like, let's explore this. Let's see how you feel about rope. Let's see how you feel about chain. Let's see how you feel about mm -hmm. electricity, whatever it is, right? It's like, it's mm -hmm. a, it's a, they have no idea. And so it's a very fascinating, what I've been noticing is that people are either, again, I'm going to go back to this whole thing. It's like in either, like it's a head over heels in love with it, mm -hmm. or they're like, eh, take it or leave it. It's like, there's this real because you can and the beautiful thing is like any kind of bondage but in particular rope can be used for all these things it could be in a session in itself it can be part of just tying somebody down for safety purposes it could be um the whole restraint and surrendering and letting go of control like there's so many different reasons to have rope in a session but yeah that's what i'm noticing like people are either in love mm -hmm. and want to fuck the rope <laughs> or they don't. And I guess back to why I, I lead with it is a lot of people come to me because of the because of the rope. So I had a new yeah. couple new couple movies last week who I told you are coming again because of the rope experience. Because their origin story was being younger. And be sure to watch our episode on age and pink, everyone, because mm -hmm. it's because it, Empress is is kind of tying a lot of things back it's a fascinating episode it is also about how their origin story is being tied up when they were younger some of they had a kinky girlfriend a kinky partner that was tying them up or they played when they were kids and that a lot is a lot of origin story is that total power exchange so if someone's asking for say strap on i'm going on my new client I want you to peg me, you know of course with all the prep and everything yes yeah, another another episode but time again Right. I know you can tie me down. So yeah, so that yeah, so it's beautiful. So it's beautiful. What, what is your own personal? Here's what I'm gonna ask. Just not. <laughs> not I'm I'm getting I'm getting mischievous. So you, you could be mischievous. Okay. Actually, when you when you roll your eyes that way. Yeah. Um. So on a personal level, mm -hmm. what's your own sexual experience with rope? And we'll, we'll go, we'll, we'll share, we'll just share a tidbit and then we'll go deeper in the extended version. Oh gosh. I have lots of personal experience with my, oh, lots with everyone. <laughs> Where to start? I was a switch for years and I really started out as a submissive. So with my cross-dressing roommate, with my first partner, I came home from a weekend at the farm once and he had this like saddle stand right, a saddle stand, and we made up this whole scenario that I was naughty and had sex with the uh, ranch hand called Poncho. You've been very naughty. Get over this any time. I like tight. I don't care what I like it tight, so he tied me over that rope, and that was our my first, I talked about in the other episode, really kinky in my 20s, took a hiatus with the whole vanilla thing, and then fast forward to my 40s. I'm not four, I'm 56 now. Anyways, and, and I just remember that experience, right? Like I could breathe, but almost, I don't do this at home, almost not breathe. And it was just beautiful. And it was just like, I wanted to be tied up. I've been tied to my swing and I've had sex. I've been tied to my swing. And I've, as of late, I've tied myself to my swing and had my, had my oral servitude slaves service me while I'm tied. I had lost, like I tie myself up. I, oh, so much Empress. So tied to beds, chained to beds. I've been, you know, shackled to beds. Uh, you know, my first time in subspace, I was definitely rope on me and tied and tied under my couch on my cross. I've been tied because I believe 
And I tell clients, they're always surprised by this. I can only experience and be good enough for, with rope because I've experienced it. Exactly. Because I've had a chest harness on me. Well, no, by chest harness, go, go to the school. But yeah, and that's how I feel. So that's my experience with it and being tied and having that inescapable feeling with it is just absolutely, absolutely lovely, right? I don't, and it's fine. I don't have a rope top in my life right now. So that's why I do my own rope. But the experience, and I will have a rope top, I'm sure again someday in my life. But I love that top being good with rope, whether I'm teaching them or not is so much experience. I love it. My favorite place is between my thighs, like that. Like I'm rubbing my thighs, as I see, like right in between <laughs> that area. And that, and I, yeah, and on the extended version, I'm gonna share my poem because it's a beautiful yeah. poem on my love affair with ropes. So, so, so over the bench, on the bed, you know. Everywhere. Yeah, wherever, where, wherever you can be tied. You've been and I'm, tied. A, I'm an exhibitionist. I've been tied in the middle. I've been tied to the middle of a bar stool, blindfolded and left for everyone to watch. And like written on me, rope slot. Like, because I'm an exhibitionist in rope. So rope is my jam. Yeah. And if you see me anywhere, whether I may be playing or not, you're looking to my, you know, my pink bag. The Your traveling purse? Dump. My perk, like Sally from our last episode, may not have a flogger in her purse. Yeah. Mr. Yeah. Sherry probably has some rope in her purse. Yeah. So whether <laughs> Sally has a flogger in her purse or not, well, I always have rope. Like, did you bring rope? Of course, I brought rope. We're doing well. We're just doing candle play today. You're only demoing candle play. Candle play. Oh, I know, but you never know. Yes. And when I introduce it at clubs to vanillas or swingers, yeah, they're fast. Because it's safety is important. I think. What about you? I, okay. Have you I, been tied up? Oh, yeah. I've been tied up lots. All over the place. Awesome. Um, I, 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 you never should assume, but I thought so. Um, I really enjoy bondage. Love bondage. And I have, you know, stories about not even realizing how I needed to have, for years, I needed to have bondage in order to actually be able to have orgasms. I didn't, mm. I didn't realize that it was about this need to give up control mm -hmm. and this need to give up power. And so um, I was tied with everything, like anything that could tie me, tied me as we learned in uh, you know, the extended version and the other episode around being tied up with extension cords. Um, <laughs> don't do that at home. Don't do that at home. Um, you know, scarves, nylons, yes. ties, um, you know, basically... Yeah, and tied to like beds and chairs and like tied, you know, I was tied a lot. And um, the experiences that I've had of being tied with rope are really exciting and hot. Um, and I get really excited about it. But my uh, master is like, this is too much work. <laughs> He's like, I just want to chain you to things because I just can clip you in, clip you out, clip you out <laughs> chain you up here, chain you up there. Like, that's a lot of energy to do. In and out. In, in and out. Don't yeah, mess up my hair. My hair exactly. Right. So that's his like, um, you know, who really is the only person who's ever dominated me. So um, my little experiences with rope have been where he's, you know, placated me um, to tie me up. But it's not really his jam. Like it's uh, okay. it's not really his jam. So um, when you were tying me up, as you can see in our membership program, um, there were many moments where I had to pause because I almost had orgasms, or I did have little baby accident orgasms because you know it happened. Um, <laughs> um, and. You know, I basically, you know, uh, I, I'm going to train, <laughs> I've decided that I'm going to train my slut puppy to tie me. Oh, so are that, you? So, yeah, Good I'm going to tra train slut puppy to tie me up so that 
uh, I'm already pre-tied. I'm like pre-tied for master. He likes what I'm tied. He just doesn't want to do the tying. So I, I'll be like pre-wrapped <laughs> before play. I like that. I'm thinking, yes, my, my subby can do rope. Good idea. Just tie me up. A good idea. Right? Like a servant. You can have be a service sub. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. So I'm going to teach the puppy how to tie me up. So I'm pre, I come pre, pre-tied. <laughs> she was at the <laughs> workshop. She, she was at the workshop. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's awesome. And yes, and I guess I didn't touch. Yes, it is a turn on for me. Right. I, yes, it's a very mental turn on for me. Absolutely. It can be, I have pretty intense orgasms when I've tied myself to the, to the swing. I tie the vibrator to myself and everything. It's a little crazy. <laughs> I'm I bet peeking. you that. I bet you that's hard to watch. <laughs> yeah, I have mirrors in front of in my dungeon. Mirrors, mirrors, <laughs> mirrors, chains. Yeah. I know what I'm doing this afternoon. What? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Woo! Fun times. Um, so yeah, it rope is very, a very sensual yet, and I'm considered a sensual status, a sensual sadistic experience for me. It's just beautiful. But if you were come to see me and you're okay with rope, when you do come see me and you're okay with rope, there won't be a session where there is no, because I'm doing a mini, you know, not around the mat. So she's now tied rope and she's, she's like crossing yes. over her breasts and she's making like a kind of mini harness for all of our listeners. Yes. So it's definitely uh, for entertaining purposes. I definitely highly recommend watching the video yes, of this episode because yes. you, you'll you see some really fun things of Mistress Cherry basically making out with the rope while we're on this call. <laughs> while we're, we're Very recording. natural. Yes. So, okay. So we got rope extravaganza course. Woo! It's it's fun. We did a good job with that. I, we really you always do with your schools, but it is a it is amazing. It yeah, really it, truly it, it is it really every, truly is. It's everything you're seeing right now and more. And everything that all the safety, all the ways to use it, how to use it mm-hmm. safe, all the all the layers all and the levels. The um, it's amazing, amazing. Everything you ever want to, if you're like, oh, I want to explore rope, take, watch Rope Extravaganza. Yes. Um, our BDSM membership, if you're like, ooh, I want to taste, I'm not fully committed yet because, uh, you know, I have commitment issues. <laughs> it's okay. It's you'll okay. want to join the membership and, and, and buy and get by the course. Yeah, yeah you're, you're, you're going to want to join the membership. Um, and you get little tasters of rope, you know, pieces of rope extravaganza in there. <laughs> That's quite the nice uh, boob harness that you got going Thank on. Um, we also have Kinky Clinic, which mm-hmm. uh, are fantastic, where we will be uh, in person, their live in person events, full day events, where we dive deep into a particular kink or fetish. Um, and then you get to practice. So it's a practice clinic after the teaching part um, in a supervised safe environment. Um, as Mistress Cherry, uh, you want to add some stuff to that piece around? I, I do, yes. And I do other like workshops. And one thing I wanted to mention on the last show is I'll be doing Zooms through the membership as well. I wanted to mention that. I will do, be doing educational, interactive live Zooms once a month once a month that's once right once a month i've been which i've been doing for a year and a half uh taking the summer off but i have partnered with empress and we're doing it through the membership and they're go and you we will you will go on the membership and you'll see what that looks like and um yeah we're working on all the details but once you see this episode go on you will see when the next live zoom is Yes. yes. So spend more time with me like, oh, I really want to do one-on-one rope or I just want to be a voyeur. Reach out to me. I'll let you know when my next demo is. I will let you know you can do in a one-on-one workshop with me. Absolutely. So send me an email at cherry at mistresscherry.net. Check on for my website at www.mistresscherry.net. Very convenient contact form in there. Follow me on Instagram at Miss Cherry Other Chaps. I always 
post, where I'm, where I'm going to be, what I'm doing. And you can see uh, great pictures there. A lot of people like to see, see pictures of me and my, my subby there. And someday well, we do have, and we post everything on there as well. And as well, Fat Life. And you can see that in the show notes and as well on Facebook. I have two groups there as well, Cherry's Chambers and um, VIP Cherry, which I post all the events. So there's lots of ways you can spend time with me. And if rope has really intrigued you and you want to learn more, um, I, yes, I. I, I say am, go I'm, make sure you yeah. take, take yes. the course, yes. join the members and have a private session mm -hmm. with Mistress Cherry so that yeah. you can truly experience it. Yeah. It's quite amazing. Or with yourself. You're quite good at it. You're very good at it as well. So, yeah. So, yes. Or you can see both of us. You can see time. both of us together. We can both, which is something that we can do. We, you we got, you on. got, we double dom. You got one half of the body. I got another half of the body. We both got our ropes tying everybody up. <laughs> Ropes on top, chains on the bottom. bottom. So, yeah. So, yes, thank you for embracing my love of rope. I hope everyone really found that entertaining and informative. And the main thing I want to say with rope is yes. And please watch the school and be safe. I, we didn't get a lot. We just talked about rope in general, but just really be safe. Safety shears, not around the neck. Just really be safe. But what, before you do rope at home, reach out to one of us. Reach out to myself come take a workshop or go on to the school rope yeah. extravaganza rope extravaganza like i we didn't talk about safety because we have this right. incredible right. course that we have created that has everything that you yeah. need to do so yeah. go take the course do not start rope without taking the course because you need there's a lot of safety that you need to know okay so take the course be safe then tie people up consensually, of course, always consensually. Oh. Don't go around tying random people without asking permission if it's okay. That will get you arrested. Yeah. Not a good plan. Um, and the last thing I wanted to say is uh, for your YouTube channel. I know that you've launched a YouTube channel. I have. Tell us more about what your YouTube channel so, looks like and what it's all about and how oh. they do I'm pretty excited. Yeah, I've been talking about it for a long time. And then you inspired me when we do confessions of pro dominatrix, right? Um, I used to be shy online. <laughs> Couldn't tell him now. <laughs> anyway, and it's called um, Cherry's Chambers with Mistress Cherry. And as a YouTube channel, about 15 to 20 minutes. It's educational and entertaining. So I talk about rope and consent, and I share some stories. Uh, all my stories that may have happened out at the club. Uh, my submissive is my uh, producer and editor and a big, a big podcaster YouTuber. So he inserts and edits a lot of fun little, little, little things. So, and you get to spend more time with me and learn how to spend more time with me. And it is going to be out every other week. And it'll be Wednesday, you see this episode, I will be live. So you can just go and like and subscribe and you can find it under Cherry Chambers with Mistress Cherry. And once I have the links, I will post it everywhere as well. So lots going on for us. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful. So, so I'm excited to share that with you and the viewers because you and I are here to stay. Right. <laughs> and world domination, baby. Consensual. Got to add the consensual. Otherwise, okay. shit goes sideways. Consensual. Always consen consensual. It's consensual. always implied. But yes, I need to remember that it's always consent. Because you watch one of my YouTube shows, Live and Learn. <laughs> you got to always. Not me, but yeah. Always, 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 always. Okay. Always. So thank you, uh, listeners. Again, shout thank out you. to our listeners in Belgium. <laughs> There you go. We'll have to go there and visit them. We're totally going to have to go visit. Um, and I want to say, again, any rope vendors who have amazing rope products that they create and sell, please reach out to me or Mistress Cherry. Um, and you can send me an email at Gaia, Gaia at succulentliving.com or you can go to empressgaia.com um and send me a message through there um so that uh we really need 
a rope vendor who is excited to make lots of money and sell lots of rope. Um, and so please come find us because we're waiting for you. We're waiting for, I need rope to see how much she loves her rope. <laughs> And to have that passion and under, understanding and to work together and to be a staple on both of our shows, right? Yes. And to come and do our kinky clinics, you know, together, things on our own, but it's, it's important. Have we found some good rope over the years? Yes, but we really believe uh, what Empress is getting to is really supporting local people or people like online and you're like hand weaving rope. You know, I like a cotton mixture myself personally. So yeah, that, that, that ties that right now. Yeah, we want somebody who loves their rope so much that we want to share their rope mm -hmm. with the world. Yes, yes. And, and I can play with and, it on all my shows. So, so you can play with it on all your shows and all our shows and all of the doms we train and all of the workshops we do. Like we're out in the world a lot. And so we want to support you. So please, rope vendors who love your products, contact us. Um, come, yes. come, um, come, come. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Before we try to seduce you, um, <laughs> we're going to Don't go. forget to watch the extended version because we're talking more about my origin story. With Your origin story and the very first time I went to, I, I went to a rope workshop that wasn't yours. Right. And I'm going to read my very, yes. it's going to, it's going to, my, my uh, poem is going to be in my book. That's another story. Um, and I'm going to read you my poem, which will make you a little tingly. It's a good That's poem. Sure. It's a very good poem. It's a very it good is. poem. Yeah. Okay. So join Patreon. Become a Patreon member. Uh, Mistress Cherry is saying goodbye, waving. She is totally tied. Her wrists are tied. She's like, there's so much rope on her right now. Um, and until next episode, stay safe, yeah. stay kinky, and keep exploring. Bye-bye. Absolutely. Bye-bye. Hmm. Well... I hope today's episode inspired you, encouraged you, and of course, made you feel tingly inside. <laughs> I just want to take a moment to tell you how much I appreciate the time that you spend and how I really deeply appreciate you listening. I do it for you guys, the audience, and I love and adore you guys. So quick loving reminder, I am not available for naked pictures, getting married, having sex, or having anybody's babies. And when you want to spend more time with me in a professional capacity as your coach, your teacher, your educator, your facilitator, um, you can reach me at GaiaMorissette.com. That's the gateway to all things Gaia. Now, if you're like, oh, I really wonder what's in the extended version. <laughs> I also lovingly invite you to follow me on Instagram, which the handle is my orgasmic life podcast, where you can leave feedback and comments. Also come join me on Facebook, at my orgasmic life podcast, Facebook group. And I really want to hear from you. I want to know how this show affected you. Did you what did you learn? Was it inspirational? Did you agree? Do you disagree? Um, you know, I want I want to know because I'm a little bit of a voyeur. So I want to know what how am I affecting you? <laughs> so please, please, please come leave some comments now. If you're like. But I don't want everybody to know what I'm thinking, which is okay. Sometimes we need privacy and we need to be anonymous. So you would like that option? We have that. You can email my slutty assistant, Layla at GaiaMorissette.com. Okay, listeners, until next time, may your life be filled with sexy exploration and orgasmic pleasure. Bye-bye. <laughs>